In this video, I want to go over how to create a compound clip in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, why would you want to create a compound clip or what's the purpose or reason for creating a compound clip? In reality, a compound clip actually really doesn't do anything like significant. It can just help make your life a little bit easier. Now, a compound clip combines or compounds all of your video footage, audio such as sound effects, voiceovers, background music and overlays including text images or whatever into one massive clip now the biggest reason i like creating a compound clip is it allows me to move around the clips a lot easier and also make them larger or smaller for example let's say i had let's say this was the beginning right here of the video and then i had i don't know 10 minutes of footage um, right over here and I wanted to move this thing this whole uh, section all the way to the end I mean I could like select the entire clip and then just move it over but a lot of times that gets really difficult especially let's say there's like 15 video clips here I might miss one or one um, might get out of order so creating a compound clip makes it a lot easier so what you want to do is select the entire area, the audio, the, the visuals, the overlays, whatever you want in the compound clip. Just select it all and then right click it and go ahead and head over here to new compound clip. Now you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it, just name it compound clip clip, but I'll just keep it like, uh, like that. You can change the name to whatever you want. Just press OK and there you go. You have created a compound uh, clip. Make sure that it all renders up here when you before you start messing with um, the compound clip. Now as you can see right here, I can move this entire clip all around. So like I said before, let's say maybe you had 10 minutes of footage here. And I wanted to move this compound clip all the way to the end. That makes it a lot easier rather than selecting the entire clip, all the clips, and then dragging it to the end. Now, how, okay, let's say I want to change a couple things within the compound clip. All you got to do is just double click on the compound clip, and there you go. Now you can individually mess with everything inside the compound clip, and go ahead and just press this thing right here, and there you go. You're out of the compound clip. So you want to mess with something you want to mess with something inside the compound clip double click the compound clip and compound clip and there you go right here now you can mess with all the different things inside the compound clip so just in case you made a mistake and then just press the arrow key and go back if you want to just go back to your normal timeline now another reason I like uh, doing this another reason why I enjoy having creating a compound clip let's say for example you have you're making a video and you're putting overlays on for example you're talking about a product review and you have a whole bunch of like B&H photos right here and let's say but it's not in the right scale let's say it's only covering like 80% of the screen you want to cover the full screen or maybe you want you have a white background and you want to make the overlay the um, B and H uh, screenshot smaller, like only 80% of the screen. Well, you could go through and individually scale all 80 different clips of those B and H photos, or you could just cr um, create a compound clip of all those different photos. Head over here to the transform tool, and you could well, don't do that. But what you want to do is I'll try to click on here, and there you that messes up so again, yeah, you could move it uh, move it around a little bit if you want so that's one example you could do and I'll just try it it's uh, definitely a little difficult but there you go so there you go now I just scaled it so again the reason why I enjoy doing is obviously I mean it takes a little bit of fine-tuning to make sure you get uh, you're clicking on the actual clip but that's the reason I enjoy uh, using a compound clip is you can scale it so if I so if I scale the entire compound clip the entire footage is also going to be scaled too and like like I did before I didn't mean to do that but you could also just move uh, the clip around so in my mind the two biggest reasons why I encourage you to cre create a compound clip is it's easier to move all the footage around but that's one that's one reason why you would create a compound clip the second reason is like I said before you can move the video around you can scale it you can make it fill up 80% of the screen 50% of the screen or you can make it fill up the entire screen and that makes it a lot easier than going through like 15 video clips and scaling it to and make sure it's the right size so that using the transform tool you could rotate it you could move the clip around that to me is the biggest reason why I enjoy creating a compound clip is I can move the clip all around scale it make it larger bigger 
rotate it or move the clip around as well as it just if I want to move this entire thing around the, in the entire video that makes it a lot easier by creating a compound uh, clip so hopefully you enjoyed this video while watching this video if you create a compound clip before and I'm missing something or there's something else that is compound clips are really useful for definitely go ahead and comment it down below like I said before select the entire clip right click it on the mouse cl uh, click new compound clip or I think it was new compound uh, whatever it was I think, I think it's just new compound clip and there you go you created the compound clip double click on it to open up the clip and then this arrow key pr press this to go back um, to your normal timeline anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you guys in the next one. Peace.